Welcome back to the video. Today I'll be showing you guys another new Playing Crazy update. I'm excited and let's get started. Okay, we have some new interesting blocks here. So if we go over to the build section, we have a universal joint, a ball joint, and a gyro. Now let's build a car so we can test it. Okay, let's start off with the universal joint. So if we select it here, we have options to control it, um, friction, torque, and speed. And we could also make it powered if we want, but in this case, let's have it not powered. Okay, so if we go off-roading, which is cool about this new universal joint, is that it actually allows the, your trailer to move in more directions, like up and down. Unlike the motor, where it only swivels in one direction, left to right. Okay, let's swap this universal joint out with a new ball joint. Let's configure it. Okay, we have more controls here on how to move it. Friction, speed, ooh, max angle, that'll be interesting. Uh, torque, and mouse control. Let's try the mouse control out. So I think this works in the same way as like control panels. So if I move my mouse, it actually responds to the movement of it. That's interesting. Whoa! Uh, let's select it again and turn off mouse control. Let's see how it handles now. Okay, so now it just handles like the universal joint in a way, but I'm not sure what the difference is entirely when you, if you don't have it powered or not. I think it's just that you could determine, you know, how much you want your ball joint to move. Okay, our final new block is the gyro. So I'm curious on what this thing does. Um, let's configure it. Okay, so we could toggle it, set rotation, P, max angle, strength, okay, D, and then apply it center, fix rotation, and powered. So let's see how this thing works. So let's spawn it here. So let's try the controls. H, H spins it up. Interesting. So I wonder if this will, like, limit our movement at all, make it more stable. It does. So when we hold down H, it makes sure this thing doesn't move a lot. Okay, so we have one more block. It's called the statue. So if we go in the light bulb section and select it, let's see if there's a catch. Oh, so you must have to invite a friend or have them play for 15 minutes. That's interesting. Okay, so I guess if we do that, we unlock the statue. Okay, let's move on to other parts of the update. So one thing that the Rick G added was motor velocity. So let's get a motor here. Okay. Let's test that out. So FR. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So instead of the motor just going 100% of the time, it actually spools up, kind of like the wheels do. So this could be useful for big builds. Let me spawn in something big that has motors for wheels. So if we use this for velocity, we can actually gradually accelerate. Ooh, that's cool. So instead of just, you know, going all out, it actually accelerates like a realistic car. That's really cool. Okay, let's take a look at the Game Passes menu. So in here we have two new Game Passes, the Hover Block and the Drag Selector. So the Hover Block, I can't find the Build menu. Um, I don't know if he's added that yet, but I've bought both of the Game Passes and can't find this. So it's basically like the Hover Thruster, I think, so you can control um, how it moves and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Um, but let's test out the Drag Selector. So let's spawn the F-350, and let's turn this thing into a flatbed. So all you have to do, click the delete icon, highlight it with your mouse, and then click on it, and you have no more bed, no more bed. There you go. And then let's say you want this hood to be green, right? Because that's reasonable. All you have to do is you actually click shift this time, you highlight it, and what you want turns green. 
and click on it just to lock it in and bam you have a green hood how about that now let's say you have like a crazy motor locked creation and you want to highlight all of the motors and get it and get them all locked so let me just spam some motors here so what you do is, is that you just highlight them all like this till they turn purple bluish blueberry color whatever you click on it and let's control it to like IO click okay everything's selected and now every single motor is IO you could use a copy and paste feature which is up here, but I mean, this is way faster. Pretty cool. Okay, so some other updates include support for consoles, um, we have improved draggers, you know, bug fixes, um, FPS unlocker support, that's pretty cool. New shader keybind, let's try that. So left shift, Z, enter, and B. Whoa! This is crazy! Now it's like hyper realistic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, looks like the game's gonna shut down here for a patch. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.